Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Ashley Juhasz. We begin tonight with President Biden's surprise visit to Ukraine. Biden met with President Zelensky days before the one year anniversary of Russia's invasion. The president said America and the world stands with Ukraine. He also announced another delivery of military and equipment and additional sanctions against Russia. The last U.S. president who visited Ukraine was George W. Bush in 2008. As we approach the one-year mark since this invasion, we can proudly say that our support for Ukraine remains unwavering, and our alliances and our international coalition in support of Ukraine remain stronger than ever. Later this week, Biden will meet with Eastern NATO allies to reaffirm the security of the alliance. Former President Jimmy Carter began hospice care this weekend. After a few hospital stays, the 98-year-old will spend his final days in his Georgia home. The Carter Center says he is surrounded by his family and medical team. Jimmy Carter will be known as the longest living president in U.S. history. Florida highway troopers are looking for the driver who was in a hit-and-run accident Saturday night. The incident happened at Charlie Taylor Road. Troopers say a 40-year-old man was killed and a 20-year-old man was badly injured. Investigators say the car is suspected to be a 2007 to 2014 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. If anyone has any questions or statements about the investigation, contact Florida Highway Patrol. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department needs your help identifying the suspects of a robbery. These two robbed the Circle K on Morris Bridge Road near the Hillsborough Wilderness Preserve around 6 a.m. yesterday. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Department says they dragged a large box of cigarette cartons into an unknown vehicle. If you have any information, please call 813-247-8200. Banned Books have a new home in St. Petersburg and a library driven to keep storytelling alive. The American Stage Theatre Company is in the heart of St. Pete. Over the weekend, they launched their latest project, a free library that keeps banned books on their shelves. American Stage employee Avery Anderson explains why he came up with the idea. Storytelling in general is vital for any healthy functioning society, right? It is the core of who we are as humans, is to connect and tell stories. Um, and at American Stage, we believe in telling powerful stories. So uh, a threat to any storytelling is a threat to all storytelling. Keep St. Pete Lit manages the list of books that needed to be added once banned while a local bookstore named Tombolo will bring the books to the library weekly. A donkey in Hernando County was caught casually strolling around town. Hernando County Sheriff's Office found this photogenic donkey in Spring Hill. The community came together to find his owner. Deputies took the donkey to animal services while they looked for the owner. This has been a Florida Focus News Break. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.